Hello all and welcome back to more Spyro 2 Reignited Trilogy and Spyro was just smelling his armpit. Th this gives me many implications I don't want to think about. He was hungry? Yeah, Alright, so we've been here a couple times technically, but we haven't actually done the completion stuff. We just, most we ever did is run in to get to the permanent super flame. Yes. But now we actually have to talk to these guys to get some tokens. Tokens suck. Yes, they do. So, how's your day been, Maya? It's been a day. I've been rendering shadow <laughs> videos all day. You can't prove it. Would you like to see my desktop after this? <laughs> you know, I think I'm good. <laughs> Do you even need uh, the baseball here? Can you just use the super flame? You know, I don't know, because usually I get the super flame at the way end, so you could test that. <laughs> That's a yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, oh, it doesn't change yeah, it doesn't what's it count, though. Oh, yeah. So you gotta hit it with it. Oh. So they do get knocked down. But they don't swap over. Yeah. That they really don't like that. Uh, oh no, they have an Earth Shaper there now. I was gonna say they really don't like that Yeti, do they? No, it, it swaps between like three, I think, different um, different things. Well, if there's three of them. This is pretty easy, isn't it? Have another one of these here we go. Oh, there's another token here. I, I was just doing that because. Yeah, there's multiple tokens. It's more token. Uh, yeah, multiple tokens for that thing. So, um, I don't know if I want to sink this guy. I liked you. We were helping you cook, remember? Yeah, but you have to. I'm sorry, Mayo. Well, I mean, it, at least it's a penguin. Penguins can swim. You really are a True. But they can't fly. That's fortunate. There's another one. So, and I think that whenever the enemies start looping, that's when they don't matter. Or you can't get more, I think. What's the enemy even from? I don't recognize that one. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was just a random dude. Oh, no, he's out of tokens. Maybe it was just yeah. uh, one of the I workers. He was out of tokens. It's just... Yeah, who are you? you? Maybe it's from the first game? Maybe. I don't know. So it looks like a Nork. Oh, I mean, let's get technically... The Technically, all these guys are Norks, I believe, right? Oh, yeah, they are. It's more obvious in the PS1 version, but even here you can tell pretty easily. So you can just look at their names. They all have the same name conventions as Nasty Nork did. Yeah. So, I don't know if we really explained what Dragon Shores is. Should I explain it? Because I don't know if we did. I don't think we did either. Go ahead. I think it's kind of obvious at this point, but sure. Yeah, it's just a little mini game, a fun thing more or less, where for getting all the tokens, you'll be able to. Well, oh, I'll, I'll wait on that. You know, I won't. I won't yeah. say what you get, but it's more or less just a whole bunch of little mini games that. Well, they don't mean anything in the grand scheme of things, really. Um, Missed that one, but. It's just, it's just it, think of it just as kind of like a, a fun little time to to to, to chill back. Um, yeah. Just one last thing to do at the end of the game, but, you know, like yeah. how Nasty's loot was for Spiral One. This is basically this game's Nasty's loot. Yeah, though I would say this is obviously less satisfying. Oh yeah, obviously, but... yeah. No, like Nasty's loot was yeah. an actual level. Yeah, th this is just a whole bunch of little mini games, which is. Eh, me. I'm just not really a fan of, uh, to be fair, I'm just not really a fan of, uh, what's it called? Um, it's just this, uh, this, this coaster. The coaster takes up so much time. Yeah. But it's also by far the most substantial thing we have here. Like, the yeah. spitball thing, for instance, like, that was over before you knew it. They could have had a lot of silly little mini games, in my opinion, but... For some reason, they decided they didn't want to. Yeah, no, it's just a football game. There's one more other than that, and there's 
Tunnel of Love, which is nothing. You don't even get a token out yeah. of that one. And then there's a little uh, Super Flame minigame. But we already have Super Flame Infinite, so who yeah. cares? So yeah, this uh, this this just takes a while. Uh, yeah. The uh, the the roller coaster. I don't know if they necessarily. Um, I don't know if they fixed it because sometimes in the original game the cannon could. I feel like it could yeah. like go almost go through some of the um, what's it called? Go through some of the balloons. Yeah, we don't yeah. even have a cannon yet, so. Can't tell you. We'll learn in a moment because that's the next one. And the annoying part is, is that if you do end up screwing up, then you have to go through essentially the entire course all over again, and it just ends up taking a long time. And original game took me a long time always personally because again, like you'd barely miss. Honestly, it's just a common thing, but yeah, it's a bit bit iffy. So how's your day been? Well, my aim's not very good, but I mean that's nothing new. I didn't say how's your aim been. I said how's your well, day I, I, been. I already gave you an answer to that deal. Okay. Sorry, Mail. Just hoping we could be friends instead of enemies for once. We're at Dragon Shores, Mayo. We can't go to Disney right now. <laughs> I feel like the shooting is worse. It, it could be. It's been a very long time since I've last played this on... What's it called? It is substantially on worse. Launch, so... I don't even think it was good in the original, so... It, it doesn't help that... Like... It really... It's really difficult to, like, tell if you... Hit, you know, hit or not. Like if you hit the like like it's it, like it's hard to gauge where you need to shoot to hit the target in some spots. That's also one of the things that make it uh overall more difficult and such. It, it it's pretty difficult to figure out um where you're supposed to to hit it and such. Yeah. Hey, loop de loop. Yeah. One of the things I'm genuinely upset about it, even though it's really not that big a deal. They took away the ability to jump on the loop. In the original game, you could jump 360 degrees. Did they get... Oh, rip. I, I did... Do you know if they got rid of shooting on the loop? At least? Can you still do that? I haven't tried. I'll tell you next time we get around there. Yeah, because if they kept that, then I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> Because that's how I would pass time, is I would, like, jump and shoot, because <laughs> you could just do it. <laughs> jump and shoot. Basically, Mega Man. Yeah. Shooting is still a-okay, you just can't jump. Well, at least they, they kept that feature, but I don't know, I don't know if it has the same oomph. With oh, the sound, ah, uh, yeah, because it's like weird in this game. Like it's not an actual like cannonball in the original game. It's like a cannonball. Here, it's like a not a cannonball. Yes. I don't know if I actually got them all. I feel like I didn't. Can double check? No, nope, I didn't. Ah, I didn't get either of them. Ah, I got one that time. Good thing this Mayo, is slippery you short. Dis you disappoint me, Mayo. There. Then after we do all, we get to do all this stuff. We get to, uh, we get to look at the gallery and stuff, which will be yes. nice. Shouldn't I feel like it's been a while since I've seen the gallery myself. I don't remember how long the the first game's gallery I, I took. I don't think it was that long. I think it was only a few minutes. Yeah, makes sense. 
You know what doesn't make sense, though? Life mayo! It doesn't. You know what else doesn't make sense? This loop! It doesn't. I miss being able to jump when I'm 180 degrees of a ground. Yeah, oh, that definitely did not hit, but okay, thank you. You've conquered the coaster. Here's my last token. <laughs> Wanna ride the coaster just for fun? Hi, <laughs> you're funny. You know, roller coasters aren't for everyone. What? You don't want to play it for fun? No. <laughs> Why not? Because <laughs> I like the coaster in this game about as much as I like coasters in real life. We'll ride a coaster together at some point. Yeah, there's a... Uh, like I said before, there's no tokens out of this one. It's just a dumbbell thing. Right no, you get one token. One. You get one for doing it, yeah. Like, I'm almost certain you get one for doing it. There's a bunch of random sets of characters that you can get paired with. I keep thinking those cushions in the back are pigs. Like the fodder. Um, I think they are. No, wait, no. No, they're not. They look like it, though. When you get it yeah, up close, George. I really think. They're supposed to get George. I, I gotta go back to get George. Yes, you can get a lot of different people. You can get Alora, you can get the girls. I think you can get the chef, too. I'm pretty sure you can. In the original, you could. Yes, we are. <laughs> yeah, you could just get a whole bunch of random ones. I don't know yeah, if you could get the so Yeti. Well. Probably. If you can get the Chef, I don't know why you wouldn't be able to get the Yeti. True. Uh, you can just get a ton the of The hand it. just went straight through the... Wow, okay. Agent Zero is so big that he <laughs> takes up the entire boat on his own. Okay. I don't even think Agent Zero was in the original on the boats. I uh, got the fawn girl again. Just for kicks, eh, Spyro? You've already got your token. Come back anytime, though. That's not George. Back to pigs. Hop aboard. Finally, you have one more shot. And if I end up getting the fawn girl again, I'm leaving. If you end up getting the fawn girl again, this is rigged. Think of this one, I'll take literally anyone other than the fawn girl. A lot of fawn girls, clearly. Okay, we got the Colossus. <laughs> this guy is okay. The Earth Shaper looks like he's gonna eat them. I mean, it's wonderful. It's probably because he is gonna eat them. Professor and Glimmer Rat. Uh, fawn girl and Colossus guy. Why is there so many fawn girls? You know, I don't know. I don't even think the original game had as many popping up randomly. Yeah, there's Agent Zero again. Oh, I got the Professor. Uh -huh. You got the Professor. Nice. Love you, Professor! Professor's a beautiful girl, after all. Of course, of course. But it's not George. Give me a one more shot, because I don't want to be here for an entire video on something that's probably predetermined RNG. Oh, they're on this too? I don't even want to think of the implications uh, of that. The, no, no, okay, we're, we're gone. Got the fun girl again. It's rigged. I'm gonna talk to you because I'm gonna get all the tokens for that last one. I'd sure like to let you into the Dragon Shores Theater, but you just haven't won enough tokens. Try visiting the other attractions first. Fine, Ned. We'll do it. We'll go to all one of the remaining attractions. Ned, if that even is your real name. Okay, Nelson. <laughs> if that even is your real name. It's actually Ganelson Mayo. Why am I even being timed? I have super flame. Uh, you know? It's a reward from know. your park. I guess it's just to have some 
form of challenge? I guess. Yay, I love tokens! Ready for the next round? I, I yes. can't explain why, but I really love the way they toss the tokens at you. I've always enjoyed it. The original game, it's a bit better, but I like it still here. Yeah, I miss some of the animation the original had, though. Like, that's not just a token thing. Like, the orbs, I've had that issue with, too. How they don't bounce yeah. anymore. I do like them bouncing. So they just show up instead. Okay. I'll set the timer for you. One more to go. And it's the Glimmer Lizards. Actually, it's Glimmer. <laughs> yes, you can slap me. My head, my face is already in position, Mayo. <laughs> well, if you insist. <laughs> Why was the first round the most difficult? Um, because science. Yes. Your glove is a tear in it. Okay, Th that's all. Well, Spyro, it's your lucky day. You managed to win enough tokens to enter the famous Dragon Shores. And what do we get for it? You get a theater, and uh, theater. this is a PS One era game. What do you think the theater is? Uh, I don't think. So I don't know. They have Spire Reignited Trilogy posters in here. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Makes sense. Getting to the point, it's just of the first game, though. You'd think they'd at least have the second game covered, too. But yeah, it's a cutscene viewer. Mm-hmm. You just pick one at random, and yeah, it is just... The cutscenes, again. It is basically useless. But I guess if Unless you, you really game, want to see the cutscenes again. The game again, yeah. It's, my big thing, like, if you're just trying to beat this game for 90%, it really isn't that long. So I kind of feel like you should just be playing the game again at that point. Uh, yeah, I agree. Like, this makes more sense for like an RPG or some other game that's really long. Just doesn't make sense for games so short. Or have cutscenes that are actually kind of worth looking at. <laughs> so, like, I don't think I'm going to be rocking anyone's boat over the opinion that the Spyro trilogy really doesn't have the best storytelling. Like, yeah, it's... one has barely any. Two has a bit more, but still not a whole lot. Three is easily the best of the three, but it still doesn't have much. Exactly. Like, and he, I only give it to three mostly because of Bianca, honestly. She has this thing called character development. Yeah, which uh, we don't get that out of any of the games. Although, I mean, as much as I would love to see the Hunter or the Professor or someone else's descend a villainy, there just isn't anyone that really qualifies. Agreed. Alright, so, um,. You see the art book from here? Do I have to go to the... No, I gotta quit out. That's fine. We've completed the game now. So we can check out the art gallery here now. Um, Wait, is it literally just the same one again? That is would it? explain why it's here. Wait, but no, it has to be different because I unlocked it. Hold on, let me go back in there. We're we'll... gonna figure this out. It feels wrong to be just the first games again. Okay, no, I found it. It's in the skill points page. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so, uh... Just the cover art? Are you playing familiar with it? Yeah. Uh, it? This is the first time I ever found out that Ripto was supposed to be in the background. I never knew until this. But yeah, go back to the original. He's there. <laughs> and he looks I, really I, bad. I... It took me a long time to learn it, too, but yeah, I didn't know for a very long time myself, to be fair. It looked so bad in the original, but it's a funny bad. Mm-hmm. Alright, so, Hunter. He looks so weird grin? in this art. Yeah, the grin is so weird. Yeah. 
We only ever see him with the bow and arrow once, I think. We just see him there in Fractured Hills, and that's it. Um, Moneybags looks way more like his original design here, I think. Yeah, he... Uh, I agree, he does. Just, like, everyone else seems to be with their reignited designs, but... Okay. Yeah. Who's the top right thing again? Oh, yeah, those are the little the yeah, dudes from Glimmer. Yeah, the, the Glimmer Scarlet Glimmer. Lizard is what they're called. Yeah, that's what they call him here, at the very least. And Professor who has his pencil. You're welcome. <laughs> My pencil! Oh, it's your favorite level. Uh, ooh. I mean, I do actually really like this. Uh, I Pl don't Perry think... the Platypus! No, it's Puffy Perry. Uh, you're right. It's just a platypus. Colossus. Colossus. Okay. Goat and Yak. I do love how their name is just simply Goat, goat yeah. and Yak. Yak. And Yeti, too. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Zephyr enemies. Well, all two of them, might, or I guess. Three. They have two of them. The Breeze Builder Falcon. Chick and Parrot. Yeah, these guys look exactly... Well, the Breeze Builder Falcons you never really get a good look on, so I didn't know what they looked like. But yeah, everything else is, is pretty... Uh, pretty on point. Pretty yeah. on point, yeah. And uh, you barely ever see them at all, considering they're just throwaways in Ocean Speedway. Yeah, it is kind of weird that they actually have like a little focus segment for them, yeah. a little thing for them. Not that it's Earth bad, per se, it's yeah. just kind of weird. Earth Shapers, uh, Bleed Tree, and Killer Bush. Yeah, I kind of wish they went with the design they have here for the, the, the little Earth Shapers. I do, too. I like Which, it. Which, just good. friendly reminder, you don't see the little ones, you only see the little ones you in, what's it called? Magma Cone. Magma Cone, yes. But everything else here is in Fracture Hills. Yes. Speaking of Fracture Hills. There's a seed here, the uh, Magnum, Cresta. Guess, the so range. that's one of the specific fawns, but I think they just meant to be like Like they're all the fawns. same design. Yeah. yeah. Like they literally could have just put female fawn, male fawn, or kid, you know, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Um, interesting combinations to go with here. Why does, Bo Peep look, why does Bo Peep look so terrifying, and why is Bo Peep in, in the... Uh, in the Breeze Harbor part? Breeze I Harbor. don't know. It threw me off. Yeah. But they could have had the bird guys instead, but no. I do like the very last general. I do really like, actually, the slug designs in this game, for yeah, the most part. Were... Yeah. Uh, sp speaking of Zephyr... It says Juliet and Romeo, uh, Romeo and Juliet, and that bothers me more than it should. Honestly, it bothers me a lot, too. Moving on. <laughs> Robotic oh, Fox. yeah. Ro yeah. Hey, look, at they just say Robot Farmer here instead of giving one of them a specific name. Yeah, what gives? <laughs> Robo B. Robo Grasshopper. They're supposed to be grasshoppers? I mean, I guess that makes sense. I just yeah, never really yeah, figured out. Or, I, I never really considered... Bugs. I never figured out, or figure, you know, I never thought about, I should say, rather. what uh, it, it makes what sense why the farmers would be so upset about them being around. Yeah. Skelos. Glug. Okay, this guy gets a name. Yeah, they could have just put Caveman. Yeah. Lava Caveman. Look, they have Lava Lizard. Why not have Lava Caveman? Yep. The Wizards. Now, it's kind of disappointing we never actually get to see the two of these in the same area. We have so many areas of yeah. war, why not? It's I didn't really I mean I, I yeah, guess they there were the supposed to, they're supposed level. to be quote unquote they're supposed to be quote unquote sister levels, but I actually never considered the fire wizards to be the opposite, the opposite versions. You no, know, I never did either. Not that it's a bad thing that they did it here. It's ac actually that's kinda cool, come to think of it. Because yeah, they I don't think for look me that it's because you defeat them differently. The ice yeah, ones you use your flame breath and the fire ones you charge into. Which, I mean, it makes sense. Your fire that... breath is obviously not going to work on the fire enemies. So. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, but that makes sense, Mayo. What is that genie? It 
it's kind of scary to look at. And uh, I started looking at the shield armed, and now it's actually kind of scary, too. I'm moving on. They're scary. <laughs> yeah, the genie and stuff is pretty... Whoa. Dude, okay. I, I just have to say, the, the guy with the wrench, it, it's not just because he has a wrench, but he definitely looks like a Ratchet and Clank enemy. I kind of see it, too. Let it be, I think it's not just because he has a wrench, be too. Ra- I think everyone on this page could be a Ratchet and Clank enemy. Yeah, I, I agree. But like especially the guy on the so left. The thief than the others, yeah. But yeah. Definitely the guy on the left, though. Oh, yeah. Okay. They look way less terrifying here. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't <laughs> mind it anywhere near as much if this was their final design. It's really close to what they went with, too. Yeah. Substantially uh, less terrifying. Metropolis. Uh, I just, oh. I, I like the sheep. It just looks like it's seen death. I do too. It doesn't even look like he wants to be in there. It's like, help, send help. I and I, and again, I just want to say, I, I really think I could see the cow in Ratchet and Clank. It almost looks like Ratchet and Clank. Maybe it's just the art style here too is maybe kind of a bit Actually. Ratchet and Clanky. Like, uh, in terms of uh, art style, yeah. For me, I think just the pistol. If you took that away, I think Maybe. it would look much more spirally. Yeah, true. And you gotta pick here. Looks really happy. As does the yes. robot. <laughs> okay, nothing down there. They're just really happy. Oh, God. Um... I know there's these are just speedway speed, types, these, these I just the don't know where they ways. show up. Like, are they different uh, speedways? The or... top, so the top, top bo- or the bottom one is uh, ocean. Yeah, top left and bottom left are ocean, and the one on the right is canyon. Ah, okay. Oh, it even says speed canyon biker, but... Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I knew that was... uh Like, I could tell, just personally, I guess. Interesting combination, but okay. Of a pterodactyl. I don't like the pterodactyl's odds. Oh, it's also uh, scaling. No. They, gulp is looks like it looks like gulp when they eat him. Seriously. He's like my mm, right hungry. <laughs> mm, I mean that egg does look pretty good. The crush and rib tail. So her last one. Crush looks a lot like Ripto. Yeah, uh, the spike on his club really doesn't help. Yeah. They said it before, I'll say it again. For someone that hates Dragon so much, why did he recruit a dragon? Uh. Crash is clearly a dragon. Science? I don't know. Is it just because he doesn't breathe fire? It could be because he's also really... I mentioned this before, and I'll mention it again. It could be because he's really stupid. Possibly. At least that logic makes a lot of sense to me. Could be. Anyway, uh, that's all we really have for this game. The Spyro games are pretty short. Just how it is with this universe. Yeah, at least for these first few, like... To be fair, really it, test like how the later ones go. To be fair, these are PS1 games also. Yeah. So true. I I would uh I would, I would say that PS1 that games still have other ways to extend their part length as Crash fans, we are painfully aware of this fact. Yeah, that's true. Look at how you crash tree. You can honestly all three of them now that we have insane. Yeah. That'd be fair, you those are re- remasters, except for the first game. So, first game just has it, or third game, sorry. Uh, in terms of like adding new things, nothing was new was added to the third game. No time trials. Uh, there was the new Spire- level. Oh yeah, that there was that, but that was added way later. It is, but it was added and wasn't in the original. But yeah, anyway, um, we're just on this point. So thank y'all for watching. Uh, see y'all next time for Quinoa. Yay, Klonoa, no, uh, another really short game. Yeah, uh, that one's going to be even shorter, probably. Or, actually, I don't know, you know, 
Maybe he won't do Klonoa. We'll we'll see. Maybe he'll do Quest for Booty. We're we're, we're trying to we're trying to we're kind of force a small. Yeah, yeah, we're we're kind of trying to force a short L, a very short LP, uh, yeah, for no, reasons you'll see now. in due time. <laughs> I need something that's gonna be done by mid February. So, uh, yeah, see y'all next time for whatever it is. May or may not be Klonoa yeah. or Fester Booty. Oh. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this LP. Spiral 3 will start uh, presumably later this year for anybody who's Presumably, although to be fair, we weren't really planning on doing Spiral 2 when we did either. It was supposed sure. to be Minish Cap, but uh, we decided that game was way too long. Especially for something that I know virtually nothing about the game, so it'd probably take longer than average. And Yeah, no, we just got yeah. missed it. But we'll see you guys in the next LP. Thank you all for watching. Just remember to eat your daily dose of chicken tenders and toast. Of course, of course. Um, and potato salad is still a food that me and Mayo don't enjoy. And with that, we say goodbye. All toast, just toast, toast. Bye. Chicken. Tenders.